number 15 of 1500. Hello, thank you for watching. First things first, we do have a Twitter, follow us there, and we also have an Instagram, and we will be doing something very special with our Instagram, I will explain later. Facebook is too, is up and running, and follow us right here if you're watching on YouTube. If you are watching on our website, www.allsapiens.com, thank you oh so much, you are an absolute superstar for watching it there. We have a discuss feed, so we can post kind of relevant kind of data and information, more lengthy, lengthy, lengthy discussions. But first thing, these are my paintings. Can't stop the Trump. What do you mean, Donald J. Trump, the social liberal New Yorker, who hit wing tribal sensibilities to outfox the cultural signing leftists and inspire the whole wide world? Literally, oh, and he is, was a friend of, an idol of every ambitious black and brown minority, especially rappers, for almost four decades and an employer of mostly ethnics too. Now, some of us prefer to use all 40 years of one's strangely public life rather than the two, three years of hysterical leftist name calling, you know. Curious how Donald Trump Jr., Donald Trump Sr., Donald Trump, Donald Trump, a man who never ever addresses whites as such or even talks about, let alone defends white people's interests, is accused of defending the interests of the specific ethnic group of all those people who do it for a living. Yeah, those people, you know, this gentleman is the very definition of projection, right? You know, projection all the leftists do and hide the kind of real motives, right? You know, but anyway, I mentioned Donald Trump Jr. because he raised an interesting point and thank God gives, thank God, thankfully God gives people like John Donald Trump Jr. and ourselves the courage not to stand idly by. Stand idly by by what? This is what, okay. Here we go. Horror, horror, horror. Not only were all the media outlets doing it, but in the real world, people we know and love were flat out believing this, you know, heartbreaking as it is. How complicit people are to tribal violence, thinking they'll be on the right side of history, that nonsense phrase, if ever there was one. I'm talking about the, the violence, you know, um, what can I say? This was a net of all. The amount of violence that was not only condoned, condoned during the campaign by the Democrats and other leftocrats, but brazenly spun to indict Trump supporters, you know. Like, oh, violence at Trump rally, like people wouldn't notice what they did there. And and then all the not so subtle assassination threats from some pretty prominent op ed writers in the usual marquee named news outlets, right? You know what we're doing. You know, Trump is on record as being anti immigration, anti, sorry, anti, here we go, not anti illegal immigration, right? Anti mass illegal immigration, anti, anti mass illegal immigration, anti-illegal anti immigration, okay? An anti-mass immigration from incompatible civilizations of the type we have seen causing horrific and deadly social ills in Europe, right? That puts Trump in a league not dissimilar to other federal rational uh, patriotic leaders in Japan, South Korea, Mexico, ironically, not really ironically, you know, but it's people like to create enemies, you know, the kind of establishment people, they just rah, 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 all they can do is write and talk crap because they don't know anything. They don't want to know, they want to avoid all that. They just want to look good. You know, you know the kind of people, look at me, look at me, I'm good. Yeah, I said I said good things, yeah, look at me. Other sensible, wealthy countries who put their nations first in this hyper-connected world, protecting lower-income Americans from the ill effects of mass immigration with workers coming from disparate economies and Tilting globalization back in the people's favor, not just for the equity holders and financiers like Hillary Ying and her cronies, you know, Trump's wife is also an immigrant, right? In case people haven't noticed that too, and the selective attention, selective attention, here we go again, it's just the, uh, the lack of perception, lack of attention, because, oh, it just offends my beliefs, I must copy with names, instead of researching, instead of reaching out, instead of being empathetic, you know, his wife is also a, an immigrant, in case people didn't notice, and don't notice that too, and he generally likes blacks, because he's, he's, he's kind of black, right? Like, I mean, and Whisper, there's quietly a lot of blacks like him too. He's aspirational, right? Not Whisper, quietly. Shout to the heathens. The heathens, the heathens, the heathens, where are they? Is that us? He employs people from all stripes and doesn't just say whatever is politically en vogue a la Hillary. There is actually no evidence that the other one truly cared about whatever it is she is saying or supporting at any given moment. 
It's a queen of the flip flop, the definition of a career politician, you know. Trump's willingness to curtail immigration and rein in on the trade imbalances to create a net benefit for the value of producers at home and not just the capital owners and diametrically opposed to neoliberalism. Trump is diametrically opposed to the rampant neoliberalism of the past two, three decades. He is he is American, he's a patriot, he's for the people, for the underclass, the working class, the people who, who don't have a voice and oh, certainly have nobody talking for them, with them, in any kind of establishment, kind of marquee, branded, prestigious kind of organisation. It's all just class hatred and it's disgusting. It's disgusting, we can all see it, we can all see it except you, because you, you don't live it, you don't feel it, you don't just separate it, separate it from it, you know? And besides, it's all about the candidate's record to do the job, not the rhetoric. And don't base, don't think, don't vote based on what they say, vote instead on what they do. This explains Trump's massive gains then, because people grew tired and have grown up tired, grew tired of all the leading media outlets obsessing over nonsense like words and how, when it matters, people begin to see the transparency of their actions, you see? Comes across like a like a, you know, you know, journalism can never be 90s to 10 splits. What's that? We used to make fun of banana republics in the Middle East and Africa, but 90 to 10? But 99% to, to, to 1? What, what, what is this? Come on. Such figures. Such figures. Like China and North Korea only have one choice. They only have one choice, quote unquote, but the beacon of Western civilization must be held to a higher standard. For democracy's sake, it's always 50 50 or 60 40 or 55 45, you know, you know, you know, you know, a, a media that is not even acquiescent but openly cheerleading for a single narrative is failing to speak truth to power, failing to do their jobs. Incompetent politics meets incompetent journalism, you know. They've carried on check, they confine themselves <laughs> to the history books, and that's 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 being on the wrong side of history then, just to use your phrase, you know. It's like it's conveniently forgotten why we praise for press freedom and they try and shut it down, you know. You're free, you know, it's like they say, just let them speak. Don't 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 you know, don't censor, let them say what they want to say because then they will say the truth and then people will see. And it's like it's like that's why we have press freedom. So people can see just how rotten to the core some people are in terms of charity, openness, honesty, integrity, and loving your people, loving thy neighbour, loving all equally, you know, empathy, things you don't understand, you don't want to understand, let's look cool in our little cocktail parties, you know. One candidate had has an amiable relationship with the two historical adversaries most likely to cause an extinction level event. Yes, Russia or North Korea. And somehow 99, 99% of the press, whatever, 90% of the press or something have the goal to push this as a negative. Meanwhile, these same international players unequivocally hate Hillary, these same people, right? Who in turn is in bed with for what, some Saudi Arabian terrorist backers? Some? Who knows? Who knows how much money she gets? Oh, we know because we can see it. Oh, oh, the foundations and such. Uh, you couldn't make this up, right? Such high-profile self-deception, reminiscent of weapons of mass destruction. All right? All right? All right, Mr. Blair? You know? All right? So 90% of the media in favor of the establishment. Wow. Wow. These people aren't thinking. These people are clearly not thinking. In the real world, it's like, what? Give or take 50-50. Funny that, you know? And revelations and... Chinese microblogs and you know okay so so you mean Trump can call out other civilizations how he sees it and their people admire him more how can this be how can this be how can this be well let's find out okay now for the difficult part that was difficult but this is difficult in in another way so every day I will I will endeavour to post a, a video of my, my thoughts, my, my, my paintings and my perspectives or other people's perspectives, not just mine. This is all, 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 all collage of thoughts. I will do one a day. If it takes, if it takes longer than expected, I might even post two or three a day. Just so I can get the 1,500 of them done, maybe over 300, 400 maybe paintings. It's, it's all ideas, aesthetics, it's all people, it's things that are, are, are people find interesting, people find fascinating. Not necessarily I find interesting or fascinating, but they are for some and that, that is enough. So I, I want, I need to fund this and this is the way I'm funding it this way. The yellow, the pink, the white, the black, the grey you see me wearing, you can wear that or more. I have 15 different colours, 
We have 15 colors on the website. I hope you're watching on the website. You can just, you can, you can buy now here and here and here and everything is, is just very straightforward. Uh, and also it will, it will show the community of people who do like to think, the community of curious, curious, curious people who don't, who don't take themselves too seriously, but take beauty ideas and other people's perspectives very seriously. And it's it's just, it's wonderful to have this community. So I will I will post on Instagram. Some of you who want to be posted on the Instagram, so you get a bit of Insta fame. That's if you when you buy the t-shirts upon points of sale, I will get into contact and say, hey, would you like to be featured on our Instagram? And we have a whole list of the community. It's, it's just a wonderful thing. And thank you for supporting. And here is the link. And thank you so much.